Well, here's the next big project. This is a 93 International 4900. It's got a DT-466 in it. An Eaton 10 speed. Got this off a buddy of mine. And uh, originally this was a tractor trailer. Like a, a road tractor. That's why it's got the uh, slots here for the adjustable fifth wheel hitch. It's got a heavier rear end than I think the, the regular 4900s had. <clears throat> it's got six brand new tires on it. Virgin rubbers, not even recaps. I did... I got it painted right after I brought it home here. I wish I would have recorded that, but I'll uh, throw some pictures up right now. painted and it looks really nice I'm really happy with the paint job on it my buddy my buddy Doug painted her up for me so we got it looking right and uh, this thing runs cherry like I said I got it off a mechanic buddy of mine and he was actually using it at his service rig he had a service bed on it but he took the service bed off and uh, it's got about 30,000 miles on an overhaul it's got brand new clutch brand new drums and brakes all the way around this thing starts up fantastic now, it's not warm yet so it uh i'm not gonna sit here and rip the shit out of it or something but it uh it's gonna make us a bad ass dump truck Gotta yank the dump bed off of that old girl. Let's get her put onto this old girl. So what we're gonna get started on today, I'm gonna work on getting these rails pulled off of here. We're gonna scale the frame up right there, although I don't think it really needs much. It's, I think it's mostly just crap between these rails. And uh, might cut the frame off and get it ready for the dump bed. Because he had the old bumper, his service bumper welded to this. So we'll just cut these off square. I think it's about the perfect length already. So I can just square it up and we should be good. Alrighty, that came off way easier than I expected it to, and I have to say I'm pretty happy about that. Well, the horrible freight air gun just took a shit here. Needle scaler, I should say. 
this part here that's been broken for a while but it still works without that but now she just blows air she no chooch Amazon we go Beautiful. I would just like to point out first, uh, the Ingersoll is an exact, or the, the Harbor Freight is an exact knockoff of the Ingersoll. I mean, they're they're identical in every way. But I'm hoping the Ingersoll lasts a lot better than this Harbor Freight. We don't need that one anymore. No Okay, moment of truth. New gun. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, that's done. Looks a lot better. Uh, it's about 30 degrees out here right now, but uh, we we'll have to wait for it to warm up so we can throw some paint on this and it'll actually cure and stick right. But that'll be a lot better. Now let's measure these frame rails and uh, I guess cut those off square so we can. Okay, so I know the other truck frame is 117 inches long. So that's what we have to make this one. got a good bit to work with here might even cheat it back a little more might make it 120 because that'll be square on this side 120 extra three inches of buffer and can't hurt us measure the other side
one was better. Okay, frame's cut off nice and square, and we're gonna, yeah, I didn't do the best job on this side, but that's all right, that's just a teeny little, like a sixteenth of an inch, or that won't make a difference when we add a one inch hitch plate on it, so no big deal, but I'm happy with that. Okay, got a bunch of parts in for the truck, uh, I ordered a buyer's wet line kit, so this is gonna be a console that goes inside the truck next to the driver's seat, you got your raise and lower lever here, and it even locks in the middle. Uh, this is like a Chelsea type PTO switch, which uh, I did buy that separate off of Amazon. And it came with one of these uh, Hydrostar by Buyers pumps. I don't know if you can see that tag. The sun's killing my shot. Anyway, it's a it's a hydraulic pump. That's all it is. You don't need to see it. So, uh, just down there cleaning out the bolt holes on the PTO here. We got them nice and cleaned out. Lube this thing up and bolt it up. Also got my hitch plate made up for the truck. It's one inch, one inch plate, with some holes drilled in it there so we can adjust our hitch up and down a couple spaces. Alrighty, back here with the old copper schmoo here. This is the herpes of the mechanic world. You just even look at this jar the wrong way and all of a sudden it's all over everything. And then it gets on your phone and then you put your phone up to your face and it's on your damn face and your old lady thinks there's stripper glitter on you and it's just a downward spiral from there. It's nice to have it though. Yep, sure enough, it's everywhere. Two seconds in. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's the hole. I think it's aluminum housing. We want some of this old copper schmoo on that too. The old gear wrenches here. I don't know who bless made them, but God bless them. I hope they're sitting on a beach somewhere right now. Okay, miserable day outside, but I got my plate all beveled here, and Brad just helped me jam it in here. She's a little heavy, but uh, <clears throat> start welding it up. Grinder and paint makes me the welder. I ain't. That is going to be for our PTO switch and bed raise lower. I was wanting to have it kind of this way. This could come out if I have to, but I'd rather not take it out. But we might have to. Because clearance ain't looking good. You know you're in a man's truck. When freaking self tappers just litter the floor. Ah, by God, that's a man's truck. Okay, well, it got laid on me while I was working, but uh, here's what I ended up coming up with for this column. 
or console rather uh, I've bent up this little bracket down here that actually puts the con puts the console on like a well, not quite 45 maybe like a 22 degree angle so it's right here uh, convenient for you when you're sitting in the driver's seat plenty of clearance and uh, it's it's not like you're reaching behind you behind the seat here or something and it uh, doesn't interfere with the shifter at all so it worked out pretty good so uh, that's where we're at with that This is Meatball for those of you guys that haven't seen him yet. Well, Roscoe's not too fond of him yet. So that's where we're going to leave off part one at, but I got part two. Uh, I'll throw it together here real quick. I've got all the video done for it too, and there may even be a part three. In fact, I'm sure there'll be a part three. My computer would be shaking like Michael J. Fox if I was trying to edit all that video at once. Uh, it's turned into quite a project. I didn't think it'd really take this long, but uh, it's what happens when you try and work full-time and run a side business. So if in the next part of this video is available when you're watching this, it's going to be linked. It'll be like right over here somewhere, or probably like right on top of my face because nobody wants to see this anyway. So from me and the pups, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.